Hey everybody, I'm Joe Joseph, and this is the DailySheeple.com's News Shot. Very interesting judicial case being heard by the Supreme Court right now. Associated Press is reporting that justices are raising doubts over a law barring offensive trademarks. This is interesting because there are some high-profile... Uh, there's a high-profile football team, uh, the, the Washington Redskins, that refused to change their logo, and of course it's Right now, it's law that they can't have a logo if it's deemed offensive by the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. Listen to this. In a First Amendment clash over a law barring offensive trademarks, the Supreme Court on Wednesday raised doubts about a government program that favors some forms of speech but rejects others that might disparage certain groups. The justices heard arguments in a dispute involving an Asian American band called the Slants. That was denied a trademark because the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office said that the name was offensive to Asians. Justice Elena Kagan reflected the concerns of several justices when she said government programs are not supposed to make the distinction based on viewpoint. Kind of not rocket science, folks. Quote, the point is that I can say good things about something, but I can't say bad things about something, she said. And I would have to, I would have thought that that was a fairly classic case of viewpoint discrimination. Now, the Oregon-based band says the 70-year-old law violates free speech rights. A federal appeals court has ruled that the law is unconstitutional, but the government appealed. And, of course, rightfully so. I mean, because why would the government, of course, want to give up any power? But this seems to me to be a pretty straightforward case, folks. Why? Because they cannot tell you how to think, and what to say. Now, you can be responsible or held fi you know, liable in a, in a court of law, common, or I should say civil court, for perhaps, you know, offending somebody. They could sue you or whatever. But, you know, really what we need to do is go back to a time when we opened up the book of Truly Tasteless Jokes, and there they were about all the different nationalities out there and there were plenty of jokes and believe me all of my buddies and I we yucked it up and we told jokes about each other and sticks and stones may break my bones but names will never hurt me you know that kind of thing and instead what we've been sold is the wussification of America isn't that great folks this is crazy I hope that the Supreme Court rules that and affirms the lower courts ruling that that law is unconstitutional, that rule or whatever, and that policies changed, at least in that small sliver of a direction, in the right direction. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's News Shot, and I'll have one again for you real soon. Take care, everybody.